Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. One day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Hi, I'm Barry Lewis for RecordOnline.com and the Times Held Record. Welcome to the 60s. This video was part of a special publication in which we're looking at the 60s, that tumultuous decade that began with John F. Kennedy talking about a new generation passing the torch, talking about bringing a, landing a man on the moon and bringing him home safely, talking about love power, the Vietnam War, the protests, the assassinations of Martin Luther King and Robert F. Kennedy, bringing home the man on the moon. And in 1969, here in Bethel, New York, half a million people gathering at Mass Gasger's farm. We hope you enjoy the video and the 60s Museum. It's a special place and it's going to give you some great insight into what this decade was really all about. Uh, the Woodstock Festival was a high water mark for popular culture in the 60s and uh, it, it represented the whole era. Uh, everything about the era from freedom of expression to the Vietnam War to uh, uh, youth culture, it was all at Woodstock, all represented at Woodstock and uh, this is the place where we can talk about John F. Kennedy, John Glenn, the March on Washington, the Tet Offensive, um, the Beatles, the Birds, the Stones. Because as, as we see with the 60s Museum, we'll kind of walk through, is you may not have a 69 Woodstock Festival, the culmination, if you don't have all these events That's right. leading up to 69. The half million kids that all came here uh, we're very aware of the politics of the time. Because they're growing up, you've got Kennedy, oh, yeah. you've got Cuban Missile Crisis. They Kennedy, lived through it. They lived through that. You've got the music. Now you've got the, the escalation of the Vietnam War. And a large number of the kids in that crowd were of draft age or had just returned from Vietnam, were about to go to Vietnam. So it, even though it wasn't a political event, politics was in the air. And then you have the different movements going on. You have the Summer of Love, you've got the riots in yep. Chicago. And so you have that ultimate, it, it's like a boiling pot of, of anger and frustration. And the, the spillover of 68 is, is violence. And maybe in 69, it, it's not about violence, but it's almost like one, one breath or a chance to yeah. exhale. Well, and you have those two major events, the, the uh, landing of the moon, uh, Neil Armstrong walking on the moon, and then Woodstock. Two very optimistic events happening in an era that was filled with pessimism. And uh, it, it gives us a lesson to learn from today. Uh, the problems of the 60s are still with us. Uh, race, gender, war, uh, drugs, uh, all of those things are still with us. Uh, what did we learn that we, uh, were done right in the 1960s? What was done wrong in the 60s that we need to avoid? Uh, and uh, how can people express their dissatisfaction with the way things are in a peaceful way? Well, there are many examples in the 60s of how to do that. Wait, obviously the 60s museum, there's aspects of this that is uh, specific to 1969 and Woodstock, but for the most part, the mainstays of this museum of the 60s, uh, is the, it's the music yep. um, and it's the protests, but without question, it's, it's the artifacts and it's, it's what people wore. And what, yeah. when people come through this place, it's gotta be, I, I wore that, I have that. Oh, I absolutely. wish I still have it. Absolutely. Where can I get that? Oh, we've got a, a Jackie Kennedy uh, suit over there, a Twiggy mini dress, and a vest and embroidered jeans that were actually worn at Woodstock. Needed, let's walk this way because you needed something different. Something yeah. that was gonna make um, this museum stand out and, and every museum of, of different ilks has it some something special yeah. and of course in this one 
it's, it's what did people maybe drive around with. It's, we talk about it's the, the bus. It's the bus. Yeah, uh, and no, it was not, this bus was not at Woodstock. Uh, this is an authentic bus from the 1950s and 60s that we disassembled, reassembled here at the museum and painted uh, as a hippie bus, inspired by Further and the other buses of the era. Well, we don't have the mud or the rain or the smells, but yeah, we wanted to create that experience of what it was like to be at the festival. Um, and of course, there's no way to recreate that. You couldn't recreate it on the field with the original bands even, because it was unrecreatable. But uh, the museum is immersive, and we, we want to be able to connect people. Uh, oftentimes when people are sitting in these bean bags, they kind of lose themselves. And they talk to their, the people in the next bean bag that they may not know and they share their experiences. Were you there? No, I wasn't there. I was in, in Vietnam or I was in high school. And the stories just grow and new friendships develop. And that's, you know, that's peace and love. We're living it today. Max couldn't have been less counterculture. He's a Jewish dairy farmer in upstate New York, and uh, he didn't listen to rock and roll, and uh, he wasn't a hippie, and yet he recognized the right of these kids to get together on his field It's a, as an American right. We fought wars for that right, and he made sure that this event happened on his property, uh, despite what his neighbors thought, despite what the town thought of him, and um, you know, it's, it's kind of admirable that somebody can stand up for a, an ideal like that, even though it isn't their ideal. Wade, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Again, this is the 60s Museum. It's on the grounds of Bethel Woods Center for the Arts. This is where Woodstock took place in Bethel, New York, in Sullivan County. For Record Online and the Times Held Record, I'm Barry Lewis.